What is going on guys, Viper here and welcome to another video on the channel. Today EA decided to release the Liga NOS uh, Foundations. EA have put Simon Banza in the SPCs and he looks to be really, really good. Um, kind of messed up what I was going for, but this card looks awesome. Obviously the Team of the Year uh, walkout thing is here. He looks really good with 88 pace, 85 dribbling, 88 shooting, 73 passing and 85 physical. Um, straight off the bat, when I saw this card, I thought... Yeah, definitely an engine for this. Um, four star, four star, six two, high low work rates, great strength, great head and accuracy. Bit low on the agility and balance, which is why I thought an engine would be really good for him. He has good vision and short pass, okay curve, not the best, um, but great finishing outside of that as well. 88 and 88 on the pace split, which is nice. I personally think straight off the bat, looking at it, an engine is going to be your best friend here. Obviously, he has okay passing. Um, but the, the issue is his agility and balance is a bit low. Um, so we're going to pop him in a team like this. Um, obviously, it's not got full chem um, and an engine on him. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to try and find a way to get him on full chem. I'm not sure how we're going to do that just yet. Um, let's have a look here real quick. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, he's a really cool card, though, man. Obviously, he links to a lot of players. I haven't actually checked the objective cards yet, so we'll, we'll check them in a moment as well. Um, how am I going to link him on full chemistry here? What I might have to do is do that and then um, drop Ronaldo out for somebody. I'm not too sure who, though. Um, yeah, let's 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 do something like this. Put Smithrow in there. And then we just need to change Kante's position. And then we've got Banza on full chemistry, um, which is obviously, we need that for the review, really. Um, let's have a look now real quick, see what he's getting. Plus five pace, plus five on the agility, which gives him 88 agility. 89 balance, which is a nice increase with a good increase with dri dribbling as well. Plus 10 curve, which is going to be really, really important to see if his uh, finesse shots are any good. Um, so that's why I think the engine's the best for him. To get the passing up a little bit more, he's got really, really good vision and short pass now. Great agility, great balance, great dribbling. And he's going to be strong on the ball. You know, He's going to have a good body type because he's 6'2". High low work rates, 4 star, 4 star. Um, this looks to be a brilliant, brilliant card. I've never seen him before. Um, we were expecting Uribe, um, the Porto Colombian, but we got a Banza instead. And I'm quite happy we did get Banza because it's a very, very interesting card. Now, let's go and have a look at the uh, Liga Nos objectives. We're actually going to look at them from the yeah, squad menu here. Um, so if we go to concept, like so, and then we go to Liga Portugal. Let's have a look real quick and see what we got. Obviously, we had Lincoln already. Uribe is actually in there as a, um objective card. And I believe so is Rafa. Rafa doesn't look too good, to be fair. Um, you're better off having Corona. And we've got this Goncalo guy who looks okay, to be fair to him. Um, good reactions and composure. Um, okay outside of that. And then we've got this guy as well who looks to be quite good off on the surface. Um, looks to be a pretty decent card, that one. So, yeah, you've got good links, you know, around the place. Um, obviously, um, Diaz as well. The inform card is really, really good. And he's a great link to him as well. I was hoping we would get Diaz. Lincoln's obviously a, um, a seasonal battle pass player, which you could go and get. Um, Coates, who's already in at Rule Breakers. This is a really, really good uh, setup you've got now for uh, Liga Nos. So you could easily build a team around him. Um, so yeah, boys, what we're going to do now is we're going to go get into a game and see how we get on with Simon Banza. All right, lads, into the game we go. Let's see who we're facing and what team they've got. Very bog standard team. Let's get into the game and see how we get on with our boy Banza. Right, let's see what Banza can offer then. What's his sprint boost like straight off the... Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He looks insane. That was an insane sprint boost from him, wasn't it? I'm going to keep you guys with me as I usually do for the uh, start of the game. That was insane. For a guy of, like, six foot two with great strength and stuff, that's going to be a goal. Oof. Um, yeah, with a guy with th that kind of strength and aggression and all of that combo, you'd expect him to not be too good at... Um, and that kind of stuff, but yeah, it was an insane uh, sprint boost. Let's see if we can find him there. He will, he'll win that. Yes, he will. Here we go, Abanza again. He's driving. He's quick. He does feel quick as well. Oh my god! With that kind of finishing, oh my lord, he's good. Wow, 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 wow. Do this card already. I can see that uh, he's a good, good, good card. Um, if he's sprint boosting like that. With that kind of frame on him, he's always going to be a menace no matter what. Um, 
So yeah, I, I would highly recommend him just based on that. You could play him out wide if you wanted to because his passing is not bad. Um, so, you know, you could play him on that kind of like meta of, um, you know, the, the, the wide cams who you kind of need to have good strength if you can get it. Because um, his passing is okay with the, uh, the is it 85 vision, I mean, 85 short pass. You're getting a you're getting a good player in that regard as well. So you know you can do whatever you really want with him. What's his long shots like? Unlucky, unlucky. He's been very, very good so far, and he'll be good from areas like this as well. And um, let's see if we can get it on his head. Yeah. So you look at that. See, I mean, yeah. What a what a debut for Banzer this has already been. So yeah, man. I'm I'm very very happy with EA giving a, us a card like this because I've never heard of the guy. Um, he's French. He links to a lot of great players. Um, obviously, in the Liga Nos, there's a lot of good players like that Corona, um, that, Uri that Uribe, who's in um, Objectives. So you've got a lot of great options now with um, Liga Nos, which is nice. And that's why I'm really, really happy with the way EA are kind of going with this, you know, because we, we got really good things from the uh, Eredivisie. And now we're getting other free cards that are really good as well, you know. So um, I think what I'm going to do, good save. Oh, it's a rebound. Um, what I'm going to do, lads, this uh, weekend league, I'm going to play with all of the free cards and see what, what we can get, and I'll up upload that to YouTube. Um, but back to Banza. Um, he, yeah, his sprint boost is really good. He has a big presence on the pitch. He, he, he doesn't really have the best body type by the looks of it, um, even though I thought he would. But his sprint boost is crazy. Um, his finishing is great as well. You know, 92 finishing on the boy is really, really nice to have as well. Um, so far... He's got a hat trick. Um, this guy isn't a bad player either. So you've got to take that into account as well. I can't believe I've scored, you know, three goals of him on a live com already in 20 minutes. Um, he seems really good in the air as well, which I kind of um, didn't like with Simeone. He wasn't that good in the air. Um, but this card does seem to be really good in the air. Oh my God, man. He, he is a menace. Yeah, this card is a joke. He might even win that. Oh no, never mind. All right, boys, what I'm going to do now... Uh, I'll bring you back to any highlights now, okay? You've seen uh, you've seen how good he is already, but let me bring you back to some highlights. Here he goes again. He's got space to work in this time. Good good pace on the boy. Look at that. He's going to hold off Kante there. He's in the box. He's still holding... Oh, wow. All right, let's make sure his corners are, are, on, are a joke. There he is again. Oh, it's off the post this time. I'm going to score anyway, but oh my God, he's so good in the air. What the hell, boys? Um, that's two headers he's won from two corners. And that should have been a goal. Probably I probably needed to time it. Um, but yeah, what a goal again. What a what a great, uh, well not a great goal, but a, you know, a, a great header. Um, he is insane in the air. And, you know, Simeone has um, eight, uh, 99 on heading accuracy and um, jumping, I believe. But he does not feel anywhere near as good in the air as this lad. This lad is an absolute joke in the air. His passing is not good though. Um, that is one thing I will say, even with the engine on, his passing just still does not feel very good, um, which is a bit unfortunate. So the way you're going to have to play this guy, is kind of like a getting behind striker, um, it seems, but you know, getting behind strikers on this game of how good through balls are, especially over the top, he'll be able to hold off most players as well, um, because of his frame and his strength. Um, obviously this guy's got Kunde, which is really dangerous against somebody like, like, you know, who we've got here because... Um, Kunde just has a really poor body type, and it's just going to get bullied by someone like this, like um, Banzer. You know, he's um, he he's got such a big frame um, in game, which is really really nice. How's he not scored there? Um, and yeah, he feels great so far, lads. His dribbling feels on point. Um, let, let's actually try that getting behind thing now. Let's see if Beckham can find that. He can. Look at that. He's on the end of it. I'm going to bottle this. So, oh my god. There you go, boys. Yeah, I bottled it, but he's been brilliant so far. Highly recommend him. Um, let's br bring you back to some more highlights, okay? Hold on. Ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, bring you back to some more highlights, all right? Here he is again. Oh, good pass from Corona. He's holding off Iran. Oh, no, look how strong he is. Oh, my God. Still got the ball somehow. Here he is again. Oh, even on his weak foot, he's an absolute beast, man. He should have five goals. He's going to rage quit now, guys. And that's going to be it for Banzer's first game. He is an absolute joke. He might be one of the best players I've used in 45 minutes of FIFA. Um, that's no fluke because that guy was not a bad player. Banzer seems to be a joke um, for a very, very cheap price coming in at an 83 and a 84 squad. Um, 
I think you'd be silly not to do this card. He seems insane in game. Uh, his passing is a bit of an issue. So make sure you mind his passing. Um, it is not the best. But if you can get beyond that, you've got a really, really good card here. Play him as a getting behind striker. I still recommend the engine, even though it doesn't really increase his passing to a point where I liked it. Uh, the engine is really important for his agility and balance, though, which is why I've decided to keep the engine on him. Uh, obviously, he gets the plus five pace boost, so he's on to 93 pace. Um, he's great in the air. He feels unbelievably good in the air. Better than Ronaldo, um, better than Simeone, and I thought Simeone was going to be insane in the air. He was not. Um, so, yeah, this is probably the best player I've used in the air um, on FIFA 22, which is really, really nice to see. Um, yeah, he can't pass, though. His finishing's immaculate. Um, dribbling felt really good. His sprint boost felt really, really good as well, which I was surprised about. Maybe that's the engine um, playing its part there. Um, but, yeah, he's brilliant. Honestly, I'm going to give this guy a 9.5 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed him in that game there. He's probably going to stay in my main team. That's how much I liked him. Um, yeah, brilliant in game. Uh, very, very cheap to do as well. Coming in about probably like 80k, maybe 100 with the base icon upgrade we've got going at the moment. Um, really enjoyed him. Um, you should do him, you know. Just just do him anyway. Um, you will find a use for him, you know, if it be an icon swaps. Um, but yeah, he's going to stay in my main team, I think. I really, really enjoyed him. But lads, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And you'll subscribe to the channel if you're not already. But that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.